Okay. Okay. So we just stood up from our uh, meditation, opening meditation, and we are now going to move into our sun salutation. So um, if you do have a yoga block, feel free to keep it nearby. Um, especially for um, if you have tight hamstrings when we're doing um, half splits and you want to keep your front leg straight, the block can come in handy. I don't have a block to demonstrate with, but I'll explain, so you'll see. Um, so we're going to step to the front of our mats for this. A little better off here, yeah? So we're going to step to the front of our mats. Feet are together. Um... You can keep your legs hip width apart, or you can, I would think it would be better to do it this way. I'm gonna try this. I bet it's gonna be better this way. So, um, so you can keep your feet hip width apart, or put your feet together, toes together, ankles a little bit apart. Um, Feet into the floor. Think about really making purchase um, with the floor with your whole uh, foot. And think about growing very strong and tall from your feet. If you have a block, you can just leave it at the on the floor at the side next to your foot. Good. And we're gonna press in and think about growing strong. Tuck your tailbone beneath you. Pull your tummy in tight, lift the chest, roll the shoulders down. Let your shoulders just fall away from your ears. Let your neck lengthen. So head is reaching towards the ceiling, but chin is still parallel to the floor. And we're gonna go ahead and inhale up. And then exhale, fold forward, sinking your weight back on your toes as you fold forward. And then let your head drop, arms drop. Inhale, come to a flat back. Exhale, back down. And inhale, all the way up, bringing your palms overhead. Exhale, palms to chest. Inhale, up again. Exhale, take a little back bend or maybe just look up at the ceiling, lift the chest. Inhale, back up. Exhale, fold forward, weight goes back. Always remember you can bend your knees during any of your forward folds if that's better for your body. Inhale, flat back, exhale down, inhale all the way up, exhale, palms to chest, inhale up, exhale, back bend, inhale up, exhale, fold it forward, inhale, flat back, exhale down, bring your hands to the corner of the mats, bend your knees, and as you inhale, step or jump back into a plank position. Pressing the floor away, keeping your tummy tight, keeping your glutes tight. And from here, we're gonna exhale, slowly lowering towards the floor, keeping your elbows at your sides until you come all the way down. Relax your feet, relax your legs. Slide your elbows forward so that they're next to your chest and your forearms are on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, pull your elbows back, press your chest forward, and press into the floor to lengthen through your upper back. Inhale. Exhale, and lower it back down. Hands come next to your chest, and you can either bend your knees and come up to hands and knees, and then tuck your toes and press up into your downward dog, or you can always tuck your toes and press straight up into your down dog from your cobra. And let's inhale here. Exhale, bend your knees, put your weight in the front of your hands, and as you exhale, step, walk, or jump back to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back, exhale down, inhale all the way up, 
Exhale, palms to chest. Good. Inhale up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Bend the knees. Hands find the corners. Inhale, step or jump back. Exhale, slowly lower towards the floor. Inhale to press up into an upward dog. And then exhale to press back into your down dog again. Good. We're going to inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee and look under your arm. Heel is coming kind of towards the butt if you were to bend your knee in. And then inhale, coming back into that three leg down dog, knee place, facing downward. And we're going to exhale. We're going to bring this leg up into a lunge. So if you have to walk it into position to get into a lunge, do so. Your knee and ankle should be aligned. When you're ready, you can press yourself up into this high lunge position. Good. We're going to inhale the arms up. Exhale here. If it's too much to do this, you can come higher or you can um, put your leg down if you need to. If you want more here, you can bend that back knee, touch the ground, and then lift back up. It's tough. You don't even have to touch the ground. You can just bend and lift. Let's do one more breath wherever we are. And then exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. We're going to bring this leg back so we're in our plank. Take it through that vinyasa, slowly lower. Press it back up. Press it back. Now we're going to inhale up the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee, down dog kick. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bringing it through, finding that lunge. When you're ready, you can come up to your force or come straight up to here. Good. Five deep breaths here. If you want, you can try that bending and straightening. You don't have to. Shoulders down, away from the ears. One more inhale. Exhale, bringing the hands down to the corners, bringing this foot back, taking it through your vinyasa. Good. Look at your thumb and forefingers. Bend the knees, hands to the front, or weight in the front of the hands. Inhale, exhale, step, jump, or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, palms to chest. Good. Inhale, up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Find the corners, bend the knees. Inhale, step or jump back into that plank. Exhale, through another vinyasa. Good. We're going to inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bringing it through for that lunge again. This time, once you get there, we're going to put our other leg on the floor. So I like to fold my mat so I have a little bit of padding under my knee. We're going to be down here for a bit. If you have that block nearby, you might find it handy now. We're going to inhale up. Exhale and think about sinking down, thinking about opening through this back leg's front hip. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. And exhale. 
Good, we're gonna inhale, bringing the hands down to the sides, and then exhale, sinking back so the front leg is straight. So this is the part where you might need a block, so if you're not very flexible, and you can't keep your hands on the floor and keep this leg straight, using something to prop yourself up so this leg stays straight is a great idea. Try not to twist to the side. Try to keep this leg in front of you so your hips are still squared to the front. We're gonna inhale and then exhale. Just think about lengthening through the back of this leg, keeping your chest lifted. If you collapse down and round your back, you won't feel it as much as if you lift your chin and your chest. Then you'll feel that stretch all down the back of this front leg. Good. We're gonna come back up, but now I want you to walk this leg in even closer. So it's kind of like a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here. We're gonna inhale and then exhale and just squeeze your left butt cheek forward. You're gonna feel an opening in this back, front of the back leg hip area. Let's lift the arms up. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, and then we're gonna exhale, release, walking this leg back forward into that deeper lunge. Letting yourself sink down, opening through that hip flexor. We're gonna inhale the arms up, exhale to the inside of this leg. You can let this foot fall open to the side. If you're more hip open, you can leave it where it is. We're gonna inhale here and then exhale. And if you want, you can go even deeper. If not, stay where you are. Or you can use a block to go halfway. If you're very hip open, you can get your arm under there and you can extend that leg. I'm not. <laughs> Good. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Let's inhale to come back up. Hands to either side again. And exhale, straightening that leg again. This time, let's inhale again and exhale. And let yourself sink all the way back. Drag that foot back with you. You can sit on your other foot or you can let it come to the side, whichever is more, better for your body. If this hurts your knee, just go back into that other front split or half split variation. And then if you want here, you can grab for that foot forward or keep your chest lifted. And then let's inhale to come back up. Bring both hands to the corners. Tuck that back foot. Bring this leg back. Take it through your vinyasa. And let's lift the left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing it through for that lunge. Walk it into place. Make sure knee and ankle are aligned. If you need padding, bend that mat in. Lift the arms. Inhale. Exhale, sinking forward. Opening this front part of the back leg. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, hands come down to either side. Inhale, exhale, sinking it back into that half split. Chest stays lifted and forward, chin stays up, this leg stays straight. Hips stay forward. You can do other things in this position like turn side to side, flex and point. Or just try to breathe. Good. And let's come on back up, bringing that foot in closer, making that 90 degree angle 
Inhale, exhale, squeeze your butt forward. Just opening just through here. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good, release. And then walk it forward a little bit. Inhale and exhale forward again a little deeper. Make sure your knee and ankle are aligned. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale. And exhale, bringing your hands to the inside, letting that leg fall open if you'd like. Inhale, and then exhale, and calm down deeper if that works for you. Or stay up higher if it doesn't. So we're really trying to open the hip up here. So however you need to do that. Some people will stay up, and that'll work better for them. Some of us will not. You need more space, let your leg fall to the side. And let's go ahead and inhale back up and exhale, sinking back. So either staying here in this half split position or letting yourself come all the way back down, whichever is better for you. Either way, you're still trying to keep that chest pressing forward towards your foot. You can grab for your foot if that helps or put a block behind it, but don't collapse down, don't relax. I'm trying to lengthen through the spine as well as through the back of that leg. And let's inhale, coming back up, hands to the corners, tucking that back foot, bring this leg back, Exhale through your vinyasa. And inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, way to the front of the hands. Step, jump, or walk to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, palms to chest. We're gonna come down one more time and come into pigeon pose. Inhale up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down, hands find the corners, bend the knees. Inhale, step or jump it back. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. All of this can be done at your own pace. We'll all end up in Downward Dog. And let's inhale the right leg up. Exhale, bringing it through, this time on the floor for Pigeon Pose. Your left leg is gonna slide back, nice and long and straight behind you. This leg is coming in at an angle. If you're very hip open, you might want it open to the side. Most of us are going to be more like this. And let's inhale, exhale, walk yourself forward. If that doesn't feel good to you, then you can stay more upright. If your hip is very high, you can put a block under there. If it feels good, just relax. Deep breaths. And then inhale to come back up. Hands find the corners nice and wide. Cup the floor with those fingers. Tuck your back foot. Pressing into the floor with your hands and your foot. Inhale, exhale. Press up to three-leg down dog. And lower that leg. 
Inhale up the other one. Exhale, bringing it in for pigeon pose. Walk that right leg back so it's nice and long. Inhale and then exhale and walk yourself forward wherever you are and breathe. One more breath. And inhale to come back up. Hands back into the corners. That's the good cat. Tuck your back foot. Inhale and exhale all the way up to three leg down dog. And then lower the leg. Weight into the front of the hands, bend your knees, inhale as you exhale, step, jump or walk to the front of your mat, inhale, flat back, exhale down, inhale all the way up, exhale, palms to chest. Good, and we'll stop there with the sun salutations. And then I will add on part three, which will be, we'll do some hip, lower back opening stuff, and uh, maybe a little bit of shoulders, and then a cool down. See you then. Enjoy.